Right, hello everybody, English Woods Mini here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Most of all, thank you very much for clicking on my video. We're going to be camping tonight with low budget camping equipment. I did a video two weeks ago, buying it, showing you the equipment itself, getting it out of the bag, setting it up like the tent, the sleep bag, the air mat. And a lot of people are actually interested in seeing me camp in this pop up tent. I'm quite excited really because I've never used a pop up tent before. So it's the first time for me. I've heard the condensation's pretty bad, so that's something I'm gonna have to look at. And everything about tonight's camp is a low budget, from the equipment to the food. And we are on a bit of a campsite here. Hainvus Woods, it's called, if I pronounce that right. Five pound a night, adults, kids come free along with an adult. I'll put a link in the description below if you fancy coming in, if you live in the Yorkshire area. In a minute, I'll tell you why we're here and you'll understand more why we are really. So I'm gonna get a little camp spot, we'll come back and I'll tell you that and I'll set the equipment up. Pop up tent, <laughs> quick and easy, brilliant. So a minute ago, I run about why we come to this campsite where we pay five a head. The whole idea of this low budget camping equipment is to show people, myself and Oscar Outdoors is just over that direction. We do have some good camping equipment and if you're a subscriber to my channel, you'll know all this. And you know, a lot of people are always saying is there a cheaper way to get into it. So I thought about building a playlist, you know, trying to find cheap outdoor camping equipment like tents for myself now i don't get on with hammocks anymore i may do in the winter time for the hot tent camping but oscar outdoors he's going to be called scott through the video he's well into his camping with the hammocks so he's going to start you know going through the the line of finding cheap decent hammocks for around about 100 pound mark he's already got one with him tonight so you know you can check over his channel i'll link it in the description if you're into your hammock camping He's he's gonna he's gonna you know sort of like see what you can get on the lower end, but reasonable so it don't break when you're in the hammock or alt fails. The same with me with tents. I'm not gonna buy a tent, a cheap tent like I've just brought one for the next low camping, low budget camping equipment, and it's a tent I would not take out in the rain because it, it was that cheap. I managed to spend a smaller budget than last time, but I've got more for my money. But like, coming back to the topic why I'm here, is because when you camp for your first time, even if it's solo or it's with a friend, you do have nerves, you know, nerves do build up. And I know it's a bit crazy coming to the channel and doing this video, but there's a lot of people getting into tent camping, especially this year and there will be next year with all the, you know, the price rises, people spending more and more money just surviving. They can't afford to go abroad. So a lot of people are gonna to turn to campsite camping, you know, on your coastal lines, and places like that and a lot of fellas even the ladies they'll get into wild camping as well and like i just said it's nerve-wracking when you do it for the first couple of times especially by yourself i still get butterflies even though i've been camping seven years let's say six seven years if i'm out by myself i don't often do that now but i still get butterflies you know you still get nervous so campsites like this where you can come just pay five pound for yourself and it's a secure campsite so you know there's other people down there there's some couple up there like-minded people they just want to camp in the tents in the hammocks some people down there have got a family tent and you know there's a small family down there you know they're not interested in what anybody else is doing we're all like-minded people on a campsite so what i think is you know if you can find a wild camping site like this and you, you pay five pound just for one night you're getting out into that tent and you're experiencing the whole thing to do with wild camping but in the meantime you're around other people now if loads of idiots come down like kids young adults you know shouting off and stuff no doubt all these other people here are gonna you know ears up what's going on they're gonna come around because they're like-minded people so to start off camping at the beginning in somewhere like this just to get used to it you know the, the night noises and stuff like that 
because when you camp in woodland, you know, the uh, a twig can break and it'll sound like a tree's fallen. And that's the truth. You could hear a deer bark, you'd swear it got its big foot. You heard a fox cry, you think it's a woman getting attacked because that's how foxes you know, really scream really loud. And it's all the sort of things that you wouldn't be used to. So this is why we're here, you know, to show you, but you can camp, have a wild camp in a wild woodland with cheap equipment, but not too cheap, so it's gonna cause you any problems. Now, if you've not seen the video, what I'm on about with buying this stuff, I'll link that in the description of this video, and I'll put a square at the end of it as well. You know, end of video, it's like a little block what comes up with my logo where you can subscribe if you're not yet subscribed to my channel. But that's why we're here, to show you, you can camp, wild camp, be safe, calm, and you can put your equipment up, and you push you don't have to cost you know, you're a lot of money to do this. This one, £75. The setup tonight, £75. That's brilliant for first time camping. Use it a couple of times. If you don't like what you're using, or you don't like the idea of camping out overnight, you've only wasted £75. It's not like you're gonna go outdoors and brought a tent for £200, a sleeping bag for £200, an air mat for £200, you know, a rucksack for £100. You know, you're talking a lot of money if you do it like that. So just buying cheap stuff at the start is the way to go. And I think a lot of people. Now I've been rambling on about this for five minutes. I hope I make you know, a bit of sense in what I'm on about. Let's get set up and I'll show you the equipment. Right, so there you go, my 15 pound pop-up tent is up and ready to go. Now, with a pop-up tent, I always thought you just throw it up, job done. You still gotta peg it all out so it's nice and taut and stuff like that. But it's the first time I've ever slept in one of these. And a lot of people are on about the condensation. Well, this is a double layer one, so you've got your fly sheet and the inner mesh. So. I'm just wondering how the condensation will carry on in the morning. A lot of people have said they wake up in the morning with these sort of tents and the whole floor is wet through because of the build up. That's something we're gonna have a look at. But for your first time tent, 15 pound, it'll do you your first night to make sure you like camping or not. It's not bad really, is it? It'll do the job for tonight. Maybe, might use it a lot more. Who knows? Right, so I'm just gonna quickly show you some other items that I brought for the 75 pound. One is the tent. I got this cook pot set up. Now I got this for 10 pound, I'm sure of it. But on Amazon, it soon shot up to 20 pound. So they doubled the price. I don't know what happened, but I know I got this for 10 pound. And in it, if you subscribe to my channel already, you've probably seen me show this, so it'll just be a quick run through. If you want to see it all in great details, like I said, at the end of the video, I'll share a link up on the screen. You can click that and it'll take you to that other video. So you get a pot, you can use it a cup or a frying pan. You get a little stove, what I did a separate video on. You get a, a spark. Get this out anyway. And you get this little rag on another 800 mil pot. And I got this with it. I'm sure I got this with it within the deal. But I don't know what's happened to the price on Amazon. A lot of people have asked me. I really am unsure. And I got this sleeping bag. Now they call it a three season sleeping bag. I could test it over winter, you know, early winter to see how it goes, but it's not bad. It is quite a thick sleeping bag. And then there was a head torch. 
So I picked up this head torch. I think at 199. And then the next probably important thing is the air mat. I picked that up as well from there. All this come from Audi. So like I said, the stove, powerful stove that. It's a cup pot lid. And then I picked up this as well. Uh, a Swedish torch just because I wanted to spend a full amount in the shop this will burn for two hours it's got the outer bark here where you can peel that off and help to start the fire in the center we'll show that in a bit now other thing that I did pick up was something to eat every time we all start camping for the very first time we'd rather take some pot noodles comment below if I'm right you know you know I'm right about this pot noodles we like to cook sausages burgers chicken wings i got right at cooking fish at the bottom at early stage of my channel and other one is like pot noodles and soups we've all done it everyone who camps already been camping for a couple of years i can guarantee you you've had a pot noodle once you've been out camping unless you're one of these people who don't camp in woodland they go right up to the hills you know they'll eat like uh so i ain't got no women i don't know why i'm looking actually some hydrated or dehydrated meals and our in Lidl today, Aldi, sorry, that's where I got all this from. Yeah, I got it all from Aldi. If I've said Lidl, I meant Aldi. I picked up this lantern, two pound. Yeah, it wasn't in, in with the budget, but I thought, well, I'm using budget stuff. I may as well buy the budget stuff, really. And the truth with you, I don't even know how it works. It's supposed to pull out like that. Oh, there we go. And you get some batteries in it. We'll have a look at that later. Eh? Oh, we're here now. Let's just quickly put these batteries in and see how it goes. But yeah, if you've got a minute or two, you know, and uh, <laughs> you want to agree with them, but you had a pot. You've had a pot noodle while you've been out camping, just drop a comment below saying yes or no. I know a lot of people are going to say yeah, or a lot of people actually take the time and comment saying what they used, used to eat. I know burgers, burgers and sausages are probably the second most popular thing. Try to get that lid on properly, there we go. That's a nice little lantern, isn't it? So it let, turned out to a little torch. And you press the little button here. And it allows you to... There we go. So, it's not a bad little lantern, really. You're going to hang it up in your tent. There's no setting on it. You can't go through the settings and make it brighter or duller, but... Oh, there is. So we've got a flash. Oh yeah, look at that. So you've got a bright, a duller one, and then a flash. Let me tell you something, you don't want that flashing at night when uh, things are out. Moths and other flying little bitey insects and stuff, because they will get onto you. Right, I need to work out how to turn this off. There we go, that's off. So yeah, that's not too bad really, is it? Quite compact as well. You know, it's quite surprising how thick this sleeping bag is. A bit like myself, really, really thick. <laughs> I'll tell you what else I picked up as well. I picked this inflatable puller up, but this is for the other low budget video, what I'm gonna be recording in the next few days. But I wanted to use it because it's a low budget piece of equipment. I didn't want to bring out the low budget stuff and then bring out my puller, what I paid five pounds for. This one, a pound. See, it can be done. You can camp on a really low budget. Let's say less than £100. It is possible.
There we go. One pound, you got yourself a camping puller. I'm not going to say it's going to last for 10 years. It'll do you for your first couple of times to see if you do enjoy camping. So I'm just using this Swedish candle torch, you know, as a bit of a platform. So I've raised this, the stove up. So it's really at my, you know, height, instead of leaning over. And plus this is more of a level surface, instead of it rocking on the floor. It sounds a good time to have a coffee. Now, if you're interested in seeing this small, super powerful stove, you get the little case with it. A couple of videos down from this one, you'll see the old ink stove. Uh, I can't remember what I call it video now, but you'll see the stove anyway. You can check it out for yourself. But for £20, even though it's £20, you get the pot, you get the stove, you get other, you get the wipe, you get the spark. For 20 quid, if this stove lasts me a year, two years, 20, 30 times usage. I'll be very happy with that. But once again, it's a beginner's stove. It's gonna do you, just to see if you really do like this sort of camping. So the same pot water boiled my water in. I'm gonna warm my dinner up. Big soup, beef and vegetables. Now, I'm going to be honest, that ain't going to fool me, fool me, fill me, so I've got two tins, one tin we're never going to do it, see, this is just simple camping isn't it? So, camping on a budget, it's very possible. Well, it's doable. I'm doing it in my tent, Scott's doing it with his hammock. Cheap, affordable food. Got a nice coffee. What more do I need? I'm outdoors. And I'm camping on a budget. Right, so I'm going to light the Swedish torch. Just want to peel some of this off. Make sure I can try and get it inside like that. Because the outer 
back of it is quite flammable. It's got like oil in it. It's how they make birch oil. I'm gonna jam it right in there. And this will burn for up to two hours. So all we need to do now is put a match on it. See if we can do it in one. That's what I mean by how flammable the birch bark is. See, the good thing about these Swedish candles are, or Swedish torch, whichever one it is now, can't remember. They burn from inside out. So once it's burnt to the edges, it will sort of like just fall apart. And then that's when I can start putting some other wood on to continue the fire. But a little fire pit like this and having this in it for two hours, very easy. Absolutely no, no stress at all. Get it lit and just leave it to burn. Well, we're just sort of laying around fire now. Just general talk, as we do. But like I said earlier, this campsite's great. They let you have fires, do whatever you want, really. Just don't pull no trees down. Some at wood I brought in from home, and me and Scott found some further up. You know, you can have a campfire. That's going to last a good couple of hours, I think. My tent's there. Right, well, I'm in the tent. Uh, I've got to curl my legs up a little bit because I just do not have enough room in the tent to stretch out. So it's not really a, an adult sized tent. I'm only five foot eight and I can't stretch out wide. Uh, you know, stretch <laughs> out wide. What am I on about? Yeah. Got a little bit of room there, but not much. Is what it is in it didn't cost a lot of money this tent it's good to test out if you want to camp for the first couple of times and there's something here what i'm going to show you what made me laugh see that there is a pocket so when you put something in say like your battery pack it just drags the whole tent down now on the floor that's all pinned out properly from corner to corner but you've got so much sagging the material here but it's a low budget tent. I shouldn't be expecting absolute bang on perfect, should I really? I was just looking back through some of the comments as well, you know, when I did the video on buying this stuff. Someone said these pop up tents get bad condensation. We've been single skin. Well, this has got an inner, so it'll be interesting in the morning to know if we do have a lot of condensation build up. The Air mat is uncomfortable as hell. <laughs> it's not the best. The air puller, you know, it is what it is, isn't it? I sleep on it one way that happens. You go over here and it, it sort of like air moves like that. So it's it's not very comfortable, but for a pound, what more do you expect? You know what I mean? It's not going to be memory form, is it? But like I've said all along, it's all right set up to see if you like camping or not your first couple of times. And that's when you start spending all the money buying expensive stuff. Well, I'm gonna go off to sleep. I'll let you know in the morning what the condensation's like, how I slept, if I am warm, just everything about what's going on. So I'll definitely see you in the morning. Well, good morning, people. I had a, a decent night's sleep. Between the sleeping bag and the 
air mat. It's like trying to sleep on ice, sliding off each other most at night. Not too bothered though. The sleeping bag will warm. I think I've got a little bit of condensation build up at the bottom of the tent. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a little bit. It's not bad. I expect it to be worse. But on the inner of the fly sheet, there's a, there's a bit of condensation. But I did expect it to be really bad. Now, I've just been reading comments on uh, when I brought this equipment and when I showed it. Someone's saying, why are you telling people to go buy cheap tents when they're going to leak? I'm not telling anybody to buy them. I'm just showing what you can get for your money if you want to start out first time camping. I've said it enough in this video now. i said it in that other one. It's clear people, you know, they don't listen to the video right. And they just think, oh, I want to comment this. This equipment, like I said, is, is just good for starting your camping. Your first couple of nights. Then definitely move up. But it's just, would you, would you rather go waste £75? Or would you rather waste 200, 300 pounds just to find out you don't like it? I know what I'd rather do. If you use this stuff when it's not raining, you're not going to get any leaks because it's not raining, is it? But still, it did the job. Let's make a coffee. So I've got myself a cup of coffee now. Birds are doing the morning chorus. You know, much as these videos are always good to try, if you are going to come out with some cheap equipment, do check the weather, check if it's going to rain, check how the wind's going to be. Because you do know the cheaper stuff you buy, the more likely it's going to damage a hell of a lot quicker. Especially in high winds, you know, the stitchings could be poor, the material could just be poor material. But the one thing what's most important, and that's just getting out. Just getting out, being outdoors, being away from your TV screens, even though you lot are probably watching me on a screen now, well, you're going to be actually. But this is just, this is, this is the way we all need to be. Get out and enjoy camping. Like I said a few times, spice them at pretty cheap like this, just the first, second camp. And then start buying, you know, the next ones and the next ones and the next ones. I've already said it's an expensive hobby. But if you do this camping already, it doesn't matter what you spend. It's a love for the outdoors and stuff like that, what's more important. So thanks for watching. I'm not gonna show me putting all the tent away there's no point of that if you like this video and you're not yet already subscribed to my channel you can hit this here you can be subscribed to my channel i'll put the buying all this equipment and you know showing all that in this video here but most of all thanks for watching and i hope i see you next time